Hello and welcome back to Son of a Batfall. I'm still a little bit sick, but I'm getting much better. And you probably can't even tell that I'm still. Occasionally you might, but not anyways. But besides that point, um, we're going to be building a unbreakable pickaxe today using Tinker's Construct. Instead of playing with the tanks, I don't know how much of this we need. Or how much of that we need. I know we need a nether star. Which I did. Which I was going to make another one, but we don't have the resources for, so. We're still only got the one. Gold. I believe it's a gold block that we need. I'm an idiot. Forgot it needs nine for the gold block. And a diamond. I believe that's all we'll need. So let's head over towards our Tinker's Construct table. We will be needing other things, but I don't know how to make them yet. So essentially... To build it on breaking pickaxe, we still need our parts. There we go. We will need a head, which you make out of obsidian. Binding, which you need to make out of paper, which is by far the weakest, and a tool rod, which is made out of paper, which is also the weakest. So technically, what just happened here? I just literally lose that. I don't really care. Oh, there it goes. So essentially, you are making a really weak pickaxe. As you can see, it's only got 26 uses. So, you're probably saying, well, how is that unbreakable? It's basically, you have to make obsidian plates and fill all the modifiers with it. And that pick will not break. I'm not sure how to make obsidian plates right at the second. I don't believe it's that one, though. We better go and get our book, just in case. So I don't want to have to make it these and find out it's the wrong ones. Because so I don't think we can uncraft them. Let's go figure out where we put our book. It's one of these two. Modifiers, that's what we're looking for. Maybe it's not in this. Oh no, it is. So it is that thing. Which you have to use with the caster, of course. So let's 
So let's run over here. I don't know how many we're going to need. That will allow us to get three, so. Actually, we better not do that. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Because we do need to put gold in there so that we can make the cast. Need to borrow some stone. When in doubt, just steal the stone. It needs eight. This house is getting destroyed, anyways. Yeah, we need to go get some gold. I believe eight, if I'm not mistaken. I should totally just put a terminal at the top of this tower here. Okay, let's fly on over here. I don't know how much obsidian we're going to need because it's going to be probably four, five, six modifiers. So, I don't know. We will find out. Why is this not working? Oh, we have one already. Anyways. That's garbage. Let's go see how many we'll need. See, there's five on that already. That increases the modifiers. Increases the modifier, so we need six of them more. Okay, so that was one, two, three, four, five. Six, so we don't need these ones. I think that's all we'll need. Is what's in here. Quit shooting me, you freaks. Shoot. 
So essentially, why am I building this pickaxe? Is because I'm thinking about adding another mod into the mod pack, which is called Vein Miner, which allows you to mine the entire vein. And with this pickaxe, if I set it to allow me to mine stone as well, it will essentially allow me to mine a huge amount of area without it breaking. It's a little overpowered, but I just kind of want to show you guys it. And if not, we have an unbreakable pickaxe. We have too much obsidian. Now we're going to go put the last one on. You'll notice that it's not actually changing the durability. See? Now it says unbreakable. So that's whoopee doo, yeehaw. But it's slow, right? It's only seven. This is how fast it mines. Not exactly fast. So what we can do is take it down to our magical enchantment table and add other things to it. I think. No. They're smart. They won't let you add anything to it. But whatever. Simple enough. Well, it's a good pickaxe if you need to clear out a large area. If you have a connected destruction type mod. If the things are connected, it will destroy it. So, yeah. And we're going to name this pickaxe. But I'm going to leave that guy up to you. You guys can leave suggestions in the comment on this video for what to name and whichever one I think is clever but appropriate I'll name it that you can name it after yourself if you wish or so on and so forth how's this doing it's doing swell Um, what else can we do today? I'm just thinking here for a second. What did this take? I can't remember. Well, yeah, you just jammed seeds in and it made it with power. Okay, let's uh, speed this process up a bit. Not exactly how far I wanted to go down, but... Descend only.
I need some, uh, I'll need some conduit and redstone, or liquid duct, sorry. Drop down here. Steve only some steam out. Now it's moving a little quicker. Okay, what's happening here? There we go. Let's go get those conduits and that redstone block so we can speed the steam up so we can move to the next tank quicker. Liquid ducks and a red stone block. That is all we need. Oop, wrong way. I went the wrong way, <laughs> like usual. Then we'll uh, go and empty out our tree farms. And then that will probably be about it for this episode. It's been about 20 minutes, I believe. Not put that there. And there we go. So dropping quicker now. Watch. Okay. I wonder how we're doing for saplings now. Good enough. Luckily it goes, oh dear, no, damn it. I hate when I throw my bag and my glove in there. I wish there was a way in inventory, or I can't even think what mod it's called now. I want to call it, it's not Tinker's Construct. Inventory tweaks. I wish there was a way that you could, like, blacklist items that wouldn't get automatically pushed in. Bet you we're doing pretty good for rubber. it's using a stack of wood to power itself oh 
Oh yeah, that's right. I set up a uh, auto dusting mechanism. I'm gonna call it that. That forces it to convert all the iron ore to dust. So we should have like twenty thousand dust of iron. Fourteen. Sweet. Oh yeah. Apple. That's seventeen thousand. Or seventeen hundred, sorry. Look at all the rubber. That's crazy. Anywho. I believe it's been approximately twenty minutes for this episode. My voice is starting to get a little raspy. So I shall end this episode off with our scrap box. Let me just get over there. <coughs> Ooh, that cough hurt. Okay. So our scrap box item is uh, tin cans. So this is episode 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. This should be episode 12. So anyways, that'll be it for this episode. If you liked the episode, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, give it a thumbs down. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and favorite the video. Thank you for watching. This has been Son of a Badge File, and have a nice day. Good.